Now let's remove part of the sphere. Remember, our bowl is really only half of a sphere. So we want to delete the top half of that sphere. And there are lots of ways to do that. In this chapter, we're looking at the modifier stack. So let's look at how to remove geometry or remove sub-objects or parts of an object using the modifier stack. I'll select my sphere, go over to the modify panel and add our first modifier. There is a pull down that says modifier list and a little down facing arrow. Click on that and you get a pop up that lists all of the modifiers that are applicable to the currently selected object. And the one I want here is near the top. It's a selection modifier. It's called poly select. And there are a bunch of types of selection. I'm going to show you an issue that could come up. I'm going to actually intentionally do it sort of wrong so that you can see what the implications of so-called topology dependence are. In other words, if you follow the wrong workflow, then you will not be able to achieve certain effects and you'll get all kinds of warnings. I'm going to show you the problem and then I'm going to show you the solution. So the brute force way of selecting things is to use, for example, poly select. And now we have a modifier stacked on top of that sphere. And if we click the little right facing arrow there, we see that there are a bunch of so-called sub object types. These are all the different types of things within that modifier that you could select. Vertex is point, edge is line, polygon is a flat face, like a triangle or a square. We also have the same selection types down here in the parameters of that poly select modifier. We could either choose vertex here or we could choose it up here. Either way, it doesn't matter. We want to go into vertex mode. Vertex is a point. And I want to select the topmost vertex up here and show you how we can grow a selection. So I'll go up here to the front viewport and zoom in using the wheel and select that very top vertex. And then I can grow that selection out. I've got a grow button here. And when I click on that multiple times, we select all the adjacent vertices. Maybe I'll select a little bit more than half. So we got a few vertices down here, maybe a third of them remaining. And if we want, we could also convert that selection to a different type of selection. Right now we've selected vertex subobjects, but we could also select polygon subobjects easily. And to convert from one selection type to another, hold down the control key and then click on the appropriate icon. If I click on polygon, then I convert the vertex selection to a polygon selection. So we've done our selection and this is going to be sticky. In other words, if I save the scene and reopen it, the next time I open that scene, the same polygons will be selected. All right. So that's how you add a selection modifier and make a sub object selection.